inappropriate. I should take that down. What? I should take this down. Why? Because that's inappropriate. Look at this. Why? Well, if you don't like it, here's what you can do. You can go away. No one's forcing you to be here and watch it. You got that? You got it? No one's forcing you to be here to watch it. You got no right to tell me or anybody else what they can look at. back Patriots. Well we got a bit of a conversation here with a uh, local guy, local carpenter. Interesting guy. He's always interesting in the way that at least he's questioning and uh, he's done a lot of research on the well let's say the the rather deviant side of politics and he's rather shocked by it. Uh, and he's just starting out really into it, uh, more or less. He knows more than the average Joe, that's for sure, but uh, a few things I turned him on to. And we, uh, so we got into a rather good discussion. It started out in talking about the, uh, a, a documentary called The Great Hack. Um, I watched about half of it. It seemed to be, a, uh, I was a bit leery of it because it was, Put, on, put out by Universal and uh, not without cause because it, it seemed to be a, a bit of a, uh, a hit job on, on Trump more, you know, more than it was an exposure, an expose of what the uh, tech giants are, are doing to the information that they gather. But it, it does get it does get into uh, to some of that, and it, it's is worth watching. Um, and along the way, along this conversation, we have some nice, interesting interruptions. Uh, he mentioned another documentary, and there also is about uh, uh, a couple of documentaries about Trump's connection to Putin. Again. Uh, I didn't, I didn't watch any of these, but I can only assume that it's more, uh, more or less hit jobs on, uh, Trump. And if they, I don't know if any you want to go ahead and watch them, give us, uh, and, and, you know, come back with a, your take on it, please do. If I find the time, I might go ahead and, uh, and take a gander, uh, skim over these. All in all, it's what you get out here when you're on the streets. Uh, people stand by and give you some information, and sometimes it's worth looking into. And if you like it, good. Then you know what to do with this. Uh, you hit that like button, and if you uh, care, you share. If you can, you contribute, because uh, I could use that. And Things get a little skinny. I need to bring that up, but you know, contributions haven't been very good here late. So if uh, you can find your way, it would be nice if someone bought a design or went ahead and put something in my kitty because uh, it would help me keep this thing rolling and more importantly to expand it. So if you can, please do. And of course, if you can, uh, not, and Dan can't do anything else, well then, at least pray for me out there. So anyway, uh, let's get to this and I'll see you on the flip side. Interesting. Yeah, well, it sounds interesting. Yeah, um, sounds and, like a lot what Google's trying to do right now. Yeah, and, and it's just these big companies that have bought all kinds of, you know how Facebook is getting sued right now for all kind of security Right, purposes? right, yeah. That's what it's about. And they're showing all the backstage, behind the scenes of it. Good. Yeah, and it's really cool. A great hack. Terrific. Yeah. Well, Google is getting sued, Facebook's getting sued now for all these, you know, the things that they're doing. Hopefully, I mean, we are, I'm tired of saying this word, hopefully. But we got to see some damn indictments. We got to see some companies being broken up. Yeah. Period. 
Well, let's, let's see it happen. I'm tired of waiting. This crap is old, man. You know, I mean, even Trump came out that day and said, this is treason what they did. Well, if it's treason, start kicking in some doors and arresting people, man. <laughs> nice to hear it. Let's, you know, let's see it. Um, you ever heard of adrenochrome? Who? Adrenochrome? No. That's the deal with kind of stuff like that. These political leaders take and they trap kids and people oh. and enslave them for yeah. sex slavery. And in their sex occult rituals, they take in and and pump them with fear and it punch adrenaline into their blood and they take and suck their blood and eat their flesh and stuff. It's where vampires yeah. stories come from, yeah. yeah. And that's what these people are doing. That's why this pizza gate yeah. yeah. They yeah. steal it's kids. It's a big satanic thing, oh, yeah. man. They, you know, people don't realize how sick. prevalent it is. They're sick. Oh no kidding, but you know, I mean you can look at the I mean the royal family, what they were doing and they still do. Uh, Seville, what he was into, uh -huh. uh, you know, what we had here with, uh, <coughs> you know, that coach in, 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 was in Pennsylvania. I mean, it just it permeates everything. It permeates. It's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Franklin cover-up, you familiar with that one? Franklin cover-up. Oh, yeah, watch this. This is during the first George W. Bush, uh, the first Bush thing. This was going to be shown, a documentary was going to be shown on the Discovery Channel. Word came down, destroy all copies. Larry King, head of the Franklin Loan and Savings in Nebraska, who also was head of uh, Boy Scouts, was a sadistic pedophile. And he ran a child prostitution ring straight into the White House. This was broken by the Washington Times. It was a two-page story for, for two days. It was the story. Then disappeared. Right? It just disappeared. Yeah, it just... Oh, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. But you get, if you get on it, now there's been a couple of books and a, and a documentary uh, about it. And yes, with the Franklin cover-up, check it out. So this goes back to the 80s when the first Bush was in. Yeah. You know, and they were going to air this thing, and they said, well, no, no, you can't do that. No, you can't. Yeah. We need to talk about the cat that ran away from home and the kids that don't get on a school bus and all the bullshit yeah, is. Yeah. But, you know, thank God for the Internet and enough whistleblowers and people are coming out and things are now getting out. I mean, I'm surprised how much reaction I get from that pizza cake. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm surprised they even let you do this. You know, I, here, all right, this is just a theory I have, but it kind of fits because I've been doing this a number of years. I mean, it's like seven years of it out here, right? I know I have a governor put on me because I mean I look I've got I got I've been on the Alex Jones show I've been yeah oh uh, yeah you I got mean, to meet him huh no I've been uh, Skype oh okay but I got to meet uh, David Knight out here Owen Shoyer he comes to town we go out and get drunk I mean I know these people they oh. know me right I've been on the show for several times so I mean they come out and have done interviews with me out here. And they feature some of my videos from time to time. So, uh, I mean, so, I mean, that's millions of views right there, right? Millions and millions of views. I get 10,000 subscribers. That's, I won't, you know, they won't let me get, now what I'm thinking is this, because I'm out here in the public and catching commentary off the street, I mean, I don't know anybody else who's sort of like doing what I'm doing. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Crowder kind of does it, but he goes to basically college campuses. Yeah. I'm on the street, so I'm doing these in-depth interviews with people out here from around the world and all different occupations. I suspect, if I, in this way, you know, if I were in the NSA uh -huh. or CIA or, yeah, and I wanted to see if the propaganda was working, I'd be watching my channel. But I wouldn't make it too popular. Uh -huh. I'd just make, keep it on there, but I wouldn't take me off either. In other words, it's sort of like a, a shadow banning in a yeah. way. But I've talked to enough cy cyber security guys out here uh -huh. to say that, you know, that's a good theory. That's a good possibility they're doing that. And there's another documentary. I watched it the other night too. Let's see if I can find it. It's 
uh, it's talking about the election, or not the election, but the the close connection between Putin and Trump. Because you know Trump's wife is Russian. He has ties with Russia, and it's showing how uh, uh, they kind of work together behind the scenes. Because I think that they knew each other way before the game started. Well, if they did, I think they both, they're both national, they both know that the globalists are trying to do the countries in. Uh -huh. So, if that's true, they might actually be working in that conjunction to work, because, I mean, he's definitely not with the globalists. Yeah. You know, and neither is Putin. So, oh, isn't that nice? Another tolerant liberal. Would you like to take the Democrat hypocrisy test? Hey, how did that Mueller thing work out for you? Huh? Turned out pretty stupid for you, didn't it? <laughs> I just moved back from the Virgin Islands, from St. Thomas, and one weekend I went out with a couple of friends to their condos on the, the east end, and there's a an island out there that I was asking, I was like, that's cool, you know, what's the name of it? Well, I don't know, but some rich guy owns it. But come to find out, a few weeks ago, all this Epstein. That's Peter I Yeah. Peter Wyatt. Yeah. Wyatt. Epstein Island. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, with Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Yeah, it was his island. Wow. And I was sitting there on their porch looking at it, and I'm like, whoever owns that has got to be rich and living a dream, whatever. But little do they know, it makes kind of sense that they call it the Virgin Islands, huh? Yeah. Well, and I'm wondering why the FBI hasn't raided that island yet. Something's up. And then they, you know, they found him a semi-conscious in his cell the other day. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. You know, what was that? A rocket what? side go wrong? Yeah, was... what aren't we being told? Yeah. Something, yeah. it's all, but it's coming out, you know, because the way that the, the universe works and the consciousness, because how much ever they've manipulated DNA and stuff, the Grand Awakening is something that they cannot take away from it because it'll be conscious of itself. You know, it becomes aware. I don't know how it works, but yeah, well, that's, all, these, yeah. all this stuff is, is coming to the surface, yeah. you know? And it just, it's yeah. cool how it works, but I don't understand it. Oh, yeah, but it doesn't stop us from trying, you know? This no. is it. No. I mean, you're familiar with Stephen Quayle and his studies? Stephen Quayle. Quayle, yeah. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. He, he's been studying like ancient history and the nephophilia and you know, all the, you know, the old, like the giants and yeah. how they found uh, Egyptian mummies in the Grand Canyon. Nice. And, yeah, yeah, because they get like 90% of the Grand Canyon shut off to the general public. For real? Oh, yeah. Huh. And so they got stuff we, in there that we've never seen. And then there's like six layers of the Smithsonian we're not allowed to go into. Oh, yeah. We know that there have been civilizations even far advanced than what we have today. And that's what Stephen Quayle basically gets into. He, he, you know, he gets deep into the ancient huh. histories and stuff. Well, what interests me is like they, there's an up and a down and it almost like it crosses. It's because these ancient civilizations were intelligent. Oh, God. You know, and their ways of life were a little bit more simple. You know, but now we have technology. So, but we're getting dumb. Yeah. So how? What's the what's the cross in between? Yeah, and you used to say that wasn't part of it before too, well, because you know history repeats itself. But again, we're getting into things with so much missing pieces of the puzzle mm -hmm. that all we can do is speculate. You know, we can look at it and go, you know, maybe this happened. You know. I try to figure it out, but that's why life's a mystery. You know? It is a mystery. Is it? More to heaven and earth than you and I shall ever know, Horatio. It would be boring yeah. if we knew it all, though. Oh, God, yeah. Um, it, it's all interesting, though. It's, just, it, it's mind blowing what actually happened and how they disguise it. But they spend all this money and and on security to mask it and cover it up. Oh. If they would just take and open it up, it wouldn't have to be secret. Well, one of the things he said when he was inauguration address, he says, we will release the hidden technologies. Hello? What's the hidden technologies? Yeah. Have you watched the documentary Drive? Yes. Yeah. I love that. I bought it on the DVD. Yeah. Uh, 
there, but there's a couple of things missing out of it. Oh, sure. Because it, it ties everything together really, really well, but there's just a couple of little things that's yeah. missing out of it. Yeah, but it's still, I, I like it as a good primer. I like to turn people on to that who are just stepping into the, you know, the realm. You know, it's a good red pill kind of like documentary to introduce you, and then you can get into the other things that we're talking about if you want to. It starts expanding, you know, you can start filling in those voids yeah. that they didn't you bring up in that you know, in that document. Have you ever seen a movie They Live by John? Oh Carpenter? yeah, that's a classic. Isn't it Boy, great? That's a classic. How oh, awesome. Yeah, I had my cousins watch it the other night. Oh, the other one with Donald Trump and uh, Putin is called Active Measures. Active Measures. Active Measures and the Great Hack. Watch them too. Yeah. It is mine blowing. What, the, especially the great hack I watched it last night and just a, a simple company has taken just because you know how they put on Facebook surveys uh, what kind of pet you like what kind of person you are these are all these things that they put out there they use what you buy on yeah. Amazon what you watch on YouTube everything. there's a guy Epstein who's um, a premier I mean he's been in the news a lot lately too He's been Tucker Carlson. He was on Hannity. I actually went to hear him speak here personally uh, one day. Who is like the premier um, internet in intelligence operative propaganda guy. And he's what he's out there uh, preaching right now is how Google has the ability through their, you know, there's suppression, their algorithms, and everything else, to flip, fifth, influence 15 million votes. Mm -hmm. And subliminally, subliminally, so you don't ever know, there's no way to trace it. Mm -hmm. There's just no way to do it. So he's out there right now, but he's got several books out on this too. So he's another guy, Epstein, that you want to uh, look into. That's talk exactly what we're talking about. Exactly what that great hack is talking about. I wouldn't be surprised if he contributed to it. Probably so. Yeah, because this guy is like the number one guy to go to on this subject. Hmm. So he he gets deep into it about how they you know everything. That's why you know there's uh, in West Virginia. There's a 148 square mile area in West Virginia that's run by NASA. No technology whatsoever. And we're talking about there's no cell phone. Uh, if you're driving into this area, they will have sign in there. There will be no cell phone uh, ability for the next so many hundreds of miles, right? And so you, uh, and that's where all the elites are moving to because there's no, there's nothing, no computers, nothing. They're trying to get off the grid. Yeah, and it's like you know when, when Steve Jobs when they asked Steve Jobs one day, you know, oh, I bet your kids got the brand new. He says, Oh hell no, I don't allow my kids to have any of this stuff. They read books. So all the elites send their kids to the schools where they actually read books. They're not computerized or anything because they know exactly what it's doing to us. It's programming us. It's we're we're being programmed by all of this stuff. Yeah. And at one time a young lady came up who was talking to her and she goes, I hear one day they're gonna put chips in us. I say, Why? You got that eight hundred dollar iPhone in your hand right now. It's gonna tell them more than any chip will ever tell them. Right, right. It's giving them the temperature you are right now, the ambient temperature around you, what you ate today, what you ordered, where you were, <laughs> where yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. It is scary because it's just, it's, it's, we pay for the data and we give them all the information, just yeah. hands out. Yeah, someone brought it up today that all, you know, that, that, that face app thing they got now that people are getting on. Yeah. It's the dumbest thing in the world. It's going to give them the whole facial recognition, yeah. full facial recognition on it. Yeah. So there's a, there you're giving it to them. It's bad enough we walk around and they get it off of the you know security yeah. cameras. Now it's like here I am, here just take yeah. it. 
unbelievable. It's scary, but it's all part of the big scheme. You know? It's all going to come to its close. Full spectrum dominance. Yes. All this stuff has been said because all the ancient cultures, everyone, or all these other land masses have all said the same thing throughout history that it's going to come to a point of something. Cool. And then we're hitting all this point. You know? Read the book. Have you ever heard of a book called The, uh, the Fourth Turning? Uh-uh. Yeah. It's another, it's a study, it's, uh, these uh, scholars did this study on the uh, generational changes. About every 80 years, there's a fourth turning. And we're in that fourth turning now where, you know, there's going to be great changes and how each generation will learn and then forget from the previous generation. What's so it's it called? A, the fourth turning. It's an excellent book on what's happened. So when you add in things like where the fourth turning and, and the other aspects of when you look at the Mayan calendar and uh, all the whole nine yards of it, it's sort of like there's like the time to judge the fourth turning where you like might be like we have four trains heading towards the same you know, yeah. critical point where the crash. Uh -huh. Well, now it's sort of like we got eight different trains going. You know, because it's not just that we got AI, robotic technology, overpopulation, depletion of the food. Yeah. Uh, you know, they can everything. It's like you know, it's like a, all these trains coming towards them, and they're gonna crash. Yeah. I understand why people don't want to wake up because then you're awakened and you see it. Now you're responsible. To well, it do forces something. you to do something. Yeah. So. And most people are too busy already. You know, put food on the table and pay the, the mortgage and just. It's like, oh, now I got to do what? <laughs> I just what? And then things like hard truths. Like I was talking to a, a former NYPD cop out here a couple of weeks ago. That was on the day of 9 11, you know, working that whole thing. And we were getting into 9 11, and uh, he made a mention to me. He said, Look, it's hard for me to believe that our government had anything to do with this. And I said, for well, one, when you mention the government, that's a big monolithic thing. It wasn't totally our government. It was elements within, yeah. bad players within. But he goes, yeah, but if I believe that that's true, it's going to go ahead and pull out the rug from anything, everything I've believed all my life. And I go, well, that's what they want. They, you know, this is a hard truth that they don't want you to accept. Yeah. So it's like, you know, they count on that. They count on people. It's, because it's either a, a fight or flight kind of situation. You're either going to, you know, fly from this truth, or once you realize it, then you're going to fight. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just the just the topic about 9/11. Oh yeah. Is it either you stay asleep or you wake up? And just like that police officer, he just does not want to wake up to the yeah. truth that people with box cutters, you know. Yeah. Well, he was receptive because, you know, we, we got it to talk. And as a, well, as a police officer, you look at things like who benefited, right? Well, who benefited? I mean, in that crime, who benefited? And then you go to that aspect. Who benefited? It wasn't us. It wasn't Muslims. Who benefited? It was the national security state and the military industrial complex. Yeah. So they had the means and opportunity to. Uh -huh. So you know, I didn't. So you know, and then they went to start looking at the basic physical aspects of that. So, you know, I, it's deep. That yeah. rabbit hole goes deep. That conversation, yeah. that five minutes. Yeah. But uh, you know, what government stands for, huh? To control the mind. Yes. Govern is to control, right. and men is govern the mind. Right. Right. Yeah. Govern mind. Yes. Yeah. So, and yeah. our minds. See, because I'm not really sure. I'd have to touch back up on it. But our mind is not what our brain is. It's two different things. You know, because they don't even know where the consciousness comes from. So is it consciousness your brain or your mind? Or is it three different things? You know? Yeah. It's a, I, I need to look that back up. Yeah, they're, 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 it's, again, it gets into it like that ounce and a half that leaves your body at the moment of death. They've done studies on like what that is. Or they can, is it the gases, is it the flu, what, what? They can't, and they've done all the studies, they can't understand it, but there's an ounce and a half of everybody when they die that disappears. I don't know what, what that is, what that, you know, of your weight that just disappears. It's not gases, it's not fluids, it's not, they can't figure it out.
Hmm. That's crazy. You ever heard of uh, dimethyltryptamine? Yeah. DMT. Your body produces it naturally yeah. every night while you sleep. Yeah. Well, my cousin called me up one time. He was like, "Come down here." It was my birthday, and he was like, "You got to try this stuff." <laughs> I was like, "You know how I am. I'm not. I don't like experiment with a whole bunch of off the wall drugs." He was like, "No, I'm not going to do that to you. Just come try this stuff." And so we put some weed in the pipe, and then he put this DMT on top of it, yeah. and it was the most profound close to God experience I've ever had and it's like so I researched and read up on it and that you're you're in the awake state or you're in the dream state while you're awake so everything was geometrically outlined I could not ask the questions because I knew the answers before I can ask it I knew how to solve all the world's problems and it but was, you got to be careful of that because that is one of the I mean, if you were getting into the spiritual aspects of these things, it's one of the way that the demons go ahead and open the door. Open the door to uh-huh. you know the, the dark side. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm glad I have the opportunity. You know, and I see how I can take you away. And oh how yeah. You don't should not get uh, too caught up in it. I mean, look what happened. I mean, of course, the ultimate dark side was with Charlie Manson. Yeah. He got you know that whole cult thing. You know. Because the, dr- the drugs can, if you get someone bad, you know, in a in a cult situation, doing that, that's where it can lead. That's where it can go. And there are some there are some healing properties that are involved with some of it. You know, it does help with alcoholism, and, and even some psychedelics will take you away off of heroin, yeah. and things like that. So there are some healing properties to it. You just don't want to get stuck too far down that rabbit hole. Either. Yeah, and you've heard of ayahuasca. Oh, sure. It's, it's, right, it's been brought up more and more recently. Yeah. And they send you to these retreats. Yeah. I want to try it, but I don't know if I want to get that far off. Yeah. Because they say that it is powerful. Yeah. yeah. But have you ever tried it? No, I haven't tried ayahuasca, but the uh, but now, of course, a lot of the uh, the Silicon Valley people, they, especially the higher ups, the brainiacs, they take mild doses of psychedelics almost every day. That's how they go brainstorming into their stuff, and they think they're smarter than everybody. You know, they get their their arrogance from. That's a sad. It's another dark side of it. Could lead you into that. I'm, you know, I'm God. Because that's the God complex. You could start getting into, you know, I am God. But I, I don't want to say we are God. We're just like a, a drop in the ocean. We're parts of the whole. Oh, yeah. The creative yeah, right. consciousness, the God itself. I don't know exactly. Well, we're what. made in God's image. So, you know, really, the thing is, don't ever start thinking we are God. We're made in God's image. We are those we have been... I mean, now we're getting into the whole spiritual aspect and the biblical aspect of things. But we've been brought down because we are in a sinful place. This this earth is being... There are demons all over the place. Uh-huh. I mean, I mean, this is... We're, you know, and this is what we're having to deal with. This is what we're fighting. This is what we're... This is the fight. You know, it's fighting. Yeah, that we started. I brought it up, starting about that. Uh-huh. I mean, the vampires and the demonic sacrifice, you know, sacrifices with the innocence of blood. I mean, if that isn't demonic, what is? <laughs> you know. Uh, I mean, so we are fighting a devil right here on in real life, right there, in our face. Mm-hmm. What is abortion if it isn't the sacrifice of innocence? At the altar of Satan. And there's satanic rituals. Yes. And and, yes. Because, huh. uh, well, I mean, if you look and read the Bible and get into this, it is about, I mean, the most, the most powerful thing that the, the Satan has uh, that he asks for is the blood of innocence. That is the best sacrifice you can give them. That gives them the power. So that's why, you know, it, 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 how many 60 million kids we've killed for abortion? Yeah. Mm. And that's why you got the, you know, the pedophilia going on and the child sex trafficking and you know, a whole nine yards. Mm-hmm. It all has to do with the sacrifice to Satan. With, you know that whole. I mean, look, pretty, I mean, they got movies now in the mainstream media. Hail Satan! You seen that one? 
So I mean, you got you got a, you got the satanic statue, and where's they raised that? Uh, yeah. In Alabama. Yeah, Alabama. yeah, right, right. And then they, you know, in uh, front of the uh, CERN. I thought it was like at a college or something. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. I forget exactly where, but they got yeah the satanic statue now. Yeah. The the ba- ba- kid, ba- Baphomet with the two kids, you know, looking up at the horned demon. What the hell? I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> so it's in our face. And then you've got what? Trannies going around the trainee book hours and talking to five and six year olds about sex. Innocence. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Attacking the innocent. And this it's is so the, suddenly. And this has always happened at the downfall of every civilization. You look at Rome, it was the same thing. The downfall of their civilization. Every civilization at its end pushes the the deviants forward. And the deviants dominate. Hmm. And that's where we're at. And, but, Luckily, we're fighting it. I mean, we have to have people fighting it. So the downfall is people fighting against each other at their weakest point and then push it in because we're so busy fighting each other that they just come in with all this shit here? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, you know, they're, they're keeping us fighting against one another, you know, so we don't come together. What do trainees make up? Maybe 0.0 what? Three, two percent of the population, uh-huh. and now look how much press they get. Yeah, they get parades and okay. festivals, and right. Yeah, who gives it that? But they, then they push this deviance forward to take over what's, you know, what most of the populace couldn't give a crap about. Well, and then so they keep us fighting parade. about that. They keep us fighting about, you know, well, what bathroom to use. As you know, the big things. Yeah. They keep stealing from us. Yeah, which I mean. That the Black Lives Matter, the yeah. homosexual right. agenda, the gay parades, all this stuff, it's just a distraction Thank to, you. and this was already done way back, they were going to use black people to push yeah. that agenda, and yeah. you can look through history and see that, yeah. but yeah, look, people but you, that are married don't get a parade. But you even got a lot of black people yeah. working, look at like uh, Candace Owens, I mean listen to her, you familiar with her? Mm-mm. Oh, check Can- this guy. Candace Owens. Yeah, young. Good-looking uh, black woman uh, who was a Democrat, and then when he started running, started listening to what he was saying, I went, hmm. Started more and more, and she left the Democratic plantation. So she started, you know, talk, she became a, a promoting Trump. Well, when she did that, it's a, like oh, the hashtag man. walkaway thing I happened. This the dog sniffing his ass. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> so. Yeah, you know, so you know. Says inappropriate. I should take that down. What? I should take this down. Why? Because that's inappropriate. Look at this. Why? Well, if you don't like it, here's what you can do. You can go away. No one's forcing you to be here and watch it. You got that? You got it? No one's forcing you to be here to watch it. You got no right to tell me or anybody else what they can look at. You are, unless you're a tyrant. Are you a tyrant? Are you a kind of guy that wants to go around telling other people what to do? Yeah. You are? Then you're a tyrant. You're a tyrant. That's a that's a bad person, man. That's a bad person. Yeah. You're gonna know what you're talking about. Hey, sir. How you doing? Hey. How are you? It's fine, sir. You all right? Yeah. Been behaving yourself? No, I hope not. Uh, I like your hats. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, probably not. Probably been passed. Well, well, uh, Democrat hypocrisy. Well, are uh, you a liberal? Am I? No. Then you've no. already passed. <laughs> so I mean, you know, it's no problem. He's only 14. And he's Here's still. a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton for you. Oh, oh man. It's Fantastic. good for any crime in the world. I mean, it's clear to see. It's it's all working itself. Yeah. Weaving this little blanket. Huh? Only if you want to. I mean, you don't want to be thought of as a, you know, you see, read the sign over here, you see the sign? So you don't, don't be a mooching liberal, tip right. for pit. You see? Let me get you in there. Come on, let me get the two of you with Donald. Come on. 
Where are you guys from? Uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. Hey, I graduated from I graduated from Seminole High. Stay right next to Donald. We graduated you. from Osceola. Oh, cool. <laughs> Seminole. Yeah. Mega. I will. You ever heard of Frazzle Drip? No. Read that real quick. There's a badass kid. Yeah. And my cousin sent me that last night. It's a reported, whoops, the reported file name of a snuff film found on the laptop of Anthony, oh yeah, Wiener folder, yeah, life insurance, right. This is said to make even the most hardened, yeah, I've heard about this one. Said that shows Wiener, Wiener the Hillary Clinton, right, performed a satanic ritual on a young girl, surgically removing her face and wearing it as a mask flood the victim's bloodstream with adrenaline, blood, drink it in the state, and the elites drink. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Because my cousin, she was like, you ever heard of adrenochrome? And I was telling her the other day, I was like, did you just forget our conversation? Because I went in depth. Yeah. And I was like, this is what these people are really doing. This is why there's so many people in Walmart missing kids. And, yeah. and it's like, it, you don't want to look at it, but you're now you're telling me about it. Yeah. And so I'm like, just... Read up on it and see yep. what it's really about. Again, this is... It's sick. Yes. It is so sick. That's when Trump got in, his second month in office, he started the pedophile task force ring. And she, last time I checked, must have been a year ago, they had busted over 15,000 pedophiles. Some major rings they busted. I've seen a couple of them. Yeah, and I'm sure that's what led all up to the Epstein bust. Yeah. Because, you know, he started with busting up the, the smaller rings and getting names and working the way up the food chain. So I'm pretty sure this hell has to do with that man right there because he has always been real hardcore against it. Oh, another, another wonderful liberal. What a wonderful conversation. Vulgar and stupid. Hey, how did that how did that uh, Mueller testimony work for you? Huh? How did that Mueller testimony work for you? Yeah, that's it. Vulgar. Vulgar as you can be. Vulgar and stupid. That's it. Vulgar and stupid. Thank you for that. Thank you for being vulgar and stupid on camera. God, people are so just ignorant. Well, that's why I got the cameras, man. So that I can show this stuff and tell you, do you really want to be like that? Man, people. Yeah. It's like that's what the world wants. This is that. Right. Or, so, whatever. You know who else is getting caught up in the, the sex ring right now, huh? It's the Catholic Church. Oh, God, yes. So, They've always, yeah. They're the yeah. head kings of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was a little over a year ago. They busted an orgy in the Vatican as it was happening. Yeah. Wow. They busted in the in the Vatican as it was happening. They came kicked in the doors, and there they were with kids having an orgy. It's like the wolf. You ever heard the saying, the ancient uh, Indian? Right. Whoever you feed the wolf, whichever one you feed is right. the one. Yeah. You got to invite him in the door, too. It's like the vampire. You got to invite the vampire in for him to do you harm. Because they can't enter. Right. They, uh-huh. Unless you let them in. They, 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 they Unless you say, come on in. You know. Huh. Yeah. They tell us what they're going to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. They'll do it in the movies. They'll do it in the songs. They'll do it in the, you know, they actually, in documentaries, they, speeches, books. Right? But they don't. They, they, it's sort of like they put it out there, and, and then if anybody, you know, anybody, anybody populist or for like an Alex Jones, would go, here it is, look, look, there it is, they're telling us. Then they go, he's a conspiracy theorist. Uh, yeah. <laughs> then they belittle you for saying what they projected. And then it comes now, to fruition. Right, and then they, but they believe they get power by going ahead and telling us what they're going to do. They projected that out there, and they get us used to it. It's like when you see the movies, like the Hunger Games. That's coming. Um, matter of fact, I read a little, one of them little short pictures that 
the Hunger Games, this shit is real. Thank you. They sit up in their high little places and, and set this stuff up. Thank you. That's projection. That stuff's coming. This is what they do. That's sick. Yeah. It's so sick. Yeah. This is what they do. So they put it out there. It's like, well, the ultimate Bible on all of this, of course, is um, uh, tragedy and hope. It's a 1,500 page. Carol Prickley was allowed into the Illuminati Deep Library right, to study it for like two and a half years. And so then he wrote this book, Tragedy and Hope, which is basically the Illuminati Bible. None dare call it conspiracy. None? None dare call it conspiracy. I've never been that. And that is like a, you could read that in a couple of hours. To, uh, but it just cuts straight to the chase, name and names, organizations, how they plan to do it, what they plan to do, everything. It's just what's it called? None dare call it conspiracy. It, I mean, it's just, well, it's like Brad Breitbart said, we're in a war now, but if, by the time it gets to Washington, the war is over. You have to fight this culture. So you do it in your songs, your writings, your artwork. You hit them on the street. You do it in the theater. So, you know, this is how the war is being fought now. It's cultural. That's how you fight it. This is the battle front. This is the, and I, I figure the streets are the front lines. I mean, this is it. If you don't control the streets, you don't control anything. So how would you like that one? Nice, uh, nice conversation with a young man. Uh, a few interesting interruptions. So, again, that's subscribestar.com. Uh, badass Uncle Sam, if you'd like to become a subscriber. And of course, the badassuncleSam.threadless.com, the shop. And uh, PayPal at badassuncleSam76 at gmail.com. And you can always pray. All right, God bless you. See you on the streets.